This is Wuppertal Oberbarmen on the Rhein Ruhr S Bahn. Take the underpass to platform 6 to catch a train. Rhein-Ruhr Osten offers the ability to ride and drive both passenger and freight trains from the busy city to the deep cuttings and woodlands between Wuppertal and Hagen. You're currently riding a BR422 electric multiple unit. These units run as four and eight car formations and operate most of the S-Bahn services in the Rhein-Ruhr area. TrainSim World allows you to ride and drive trains from a selection of internal and external camera angles. Let's take a look now, while exploring the exterior of this... Other internal and external camera views are available to be explored. These can be accessed from the number keys. You've only travelled a short distance here, so let's take a look at what else there is to enjoy. Welcome to Rhein-Ruhr Osten. Take on the challenge of keeping a busy S-Bahn network on schedule. Drive through deep cuttings, winding valleys and dense woodland. Haul a variety of heavy freight trains between the industries at Wuppertal, Schwelm and Hagen. Deal with on-the-job and line-side emergencies. Along the way be sure to place route maps, fix trackside cabinets, restock first aid points and put up no trespassing signage. Choose passenger or freight operations and take a trip along the Vupa Valley. Welcome to this BR422 electric multiple unit in DB traffic red livery. This brief introduction will cover passenger operations and recovery from an emergency stop. Climb aboard to get started.
A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. To activate the control desk, insert the reverser key. The reverser is used. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. This multiple unit features a combined throttle brake handle. Now we're moving, apply more power and focus on achieving the required speed. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small amount of brake by moving the handle into the braking range. Apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable, safe stop. Operate the train to the next station without instruction. Be aware that an emergency stop will occur before arriving. To recover from this situation, the controls must first be reset. The train has reset 
So. Remember to apply the brakes early and gently to provide a comfortable ride for passengers. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this train. More details on the controls can be found in the manual. Welcome to this BR185.5 electric locomotive in MRCE livery. This brief introduction will cover shunting operations and recovery from an emergency stop. Climb aboard to get started. A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. The master switch is used to determine the direction of travel. When stopped for longer periods of time or when leaving the cab, the parking brake should be engaged. The train brake is the main system. It is best to apply only a small amount of power at first to overcome initial friction and get the train moving. To avoid damage to the locomotive and wagons when shunting, approach at a slow speed and stop so that the vehicles are touching.
This locomotive is fitted with screw link couplings. These require the driver to leave the cab and manually attach a chain between vehicles. Disembark the cab and head to the rear of the locomotive to perform the couple up. Return. These wagons need to be hauled up the line to a nearby yard. As part of this training, be aware that an emergency stop will occur before arriving into the yard, followed by instructions on how to recover the train and get moving again. To recover from this situation, the controls must first be reset. Continue onto the yard to deliver these wagons.
The locomotive must now be uncoupled from the wagons. This is done via the same process as coupling. Good work! That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. More details on the controls can be found in the manual. This is the G6 diesel locomotive in the grey-green factory livery. The light shunting and mainline locomotive is operated as class 650 at Deutsche Bahn. In this introduction, you will learn how to get the G6 ready to drive and master the most important operating steps of the drive and brake controls. Climb on board. First of all, we need to make sure that the main air pipe supply is on. Open the doors to the air system compartment and close the cutoff valve. This locomotive has two driver desks. Only one desk is active at any time. Actuate the desk to be used with one of the direction selection buttons. Note that the active desk and the currently selected direction of travel can only be changed when the locomotive is at a halt and all six operating levers are in the middle position. You can deactivate the desk by pressing the Active Direction Selection button again. This is required if you want to shut down the locomotive. This is not necessary if you want to change the desk. This locomotive has four different braking systems. The train brake, the direct brake, the spring loader brake and the hydrodynamic brake. All brake levers, as well as a power and brake handle, use a time control. The longer you remain in a position, the more the value changes until the maximum or minimum has been reached. In order to apply power and start driving, you have to move the power and brake handle to the foremost position and hold it there until the desired amount is reached. Then let go to hold the power at that level.
hydrodynamic brake is operated with a power and brake hand. It allows the fine control of brake mount and operates almost wear free. Now brake with the hydrodynamic brake. Pull the power and brake handle all the way back and hold it there until about 50% braking force is reached. Then let go. of the dynamic brake of the G6 is that it increases in braking force as speed decreases. Always keep this in mind during your run. Very good. Now drive to the specified location and use the dynamic brake again to stop the locomotive. Now let's change the desk to drive in the other direction. Apply the direct brake and move all levers to the central position. Well done. Now couple to the wagons on siding 406. First contact the dispatcher and ask for clearance to enter. Now switch back to the first desk and drive to the specified location.
train brake is used when moving more heavy trains. However, you can use also the dynamic brake until just right before the stop. Always pay attention to the train light. The heavier the train, the less effective the dynamic brake is in the upper speed range. To brake with the train brake, move the brake lever back one step. The main air pipe will now be emptied over time. Then move the lever back to the holding position to maintain the applied braking force. Move the brake lever to brake and leave it there until the main air pipe pressure reaches about 4 bar. Then move it back to stop and wait until the train comes to a halt. Very good. Now release the brakes again by moving the brake lever to release and leave it there. Then drive to the specified location. Wait a moment until the brakes are completely released.
Before we uncouple the wagons, a word about safety. Always put on your hard hat when you work outside the driver's cab. Now take it off briefly and put it back on. Think of this as an exercise. Well done. Safety at work is important. Therefore, never forget to use the hard hat. Now, uncouple the wagons, please. Excellent. You have successfully completed this introduction. You have mastered the basics of operating this G6 locomotive.